What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing you a little Black Desert Online update video. And guys, I gotta tell you, I messed up. I messed up in a couple of ways and kind of regret a few of the decisions recently made. The more minor one was I decided to go a little gam do a little gambling with uh, Gin Vipers. Um, so we did that and after this one sells, I'll have come out about negative 150 mil in the process. Um, the good news is I have a ton of wand vipers that I can use for combining with whom crystals uh, should they drop. So there, there's that bonus, I suppose, to at least to recuperate some of the money. So that, that was mistake number one. So if you're thinking of gambling with gin vipers, you, you better be real lucky. Uh, I actually had pretty good results with them in the past. So I was kind of expecting like it might be worthwhile to do. Um, I did not get so lucky this time. It took me a lot of money to get to get one extra Gen Viper there, uh, and it's actually not even sold as they are coming down a little bit in price. Although I don't expect them to stay lower in price overall. Second oopsie uh, was the updated Blood Wolf guide. Uh, what has happened to my Blood Wolves? You can see I just did the dailies there on my lawn, no loot scroll. Um, I typically I get comments when we do the the twenty hour guides on spots that end up being actually pretty good money. Um, and there'll always be a few comments of people that are like, oh man, this is my grind spot, you know, now it's going to be busy, thanks a lot, why do people always have to talk about this, like, keep it to yourself kind of thing, which I think that outlook in general is kind of silly. And on top of that, let's be honest, it's not like I get that many views that it's going to, like, cause it to be overrun, and people love their Aquaman history, they don't have time for this anyways. Um, in this scenario, I was a little bit wrong. The difference in the number of people I ran into today, it could be coincidence, but today being my first day back on, on a hardcore grind there, um, what was kind of atrocious. I actually had to switch to my DK. I was trying to uh, do that place on my lawn to level a little bit. I managed to start getting about the same loot, just a little bit less than what I get on my DK with my lawn. Um, she's sitting at, what, 247? Yeah, 247 uh, with Kudum, a tech Kudum. So her damage output's great in PvE. Problem is, damage output, not so great in PvP, and even more so, obviously I'm not that familiar with lawn at all, so dueling for spot uh, wouldn't have been too bad, but I, there wasn't much dueling going on. I had people just kind of flagging from time to time, left and right, which I really had never seen at Blood Wolves. Maybe just people doing dailies once in a while was all I used to experience. And that was not, not the case at all today. There was a lot going on. So I had to switch to DK. I do have a daily quota that, of silver that I get um, each day to make sure I grind or at least get enough materials that'll sell for the silver later on uh, each day so that we can support the enhancing streams at the end of the week. Um, I had to switch to DK to make sure that I could get that, and after getting karma bombed by a one particular person for a while, which I would have just switched servers, but I was in the middle of a guild quest at the time, had that happen, I don't know how many times I had to fight to defend my spot, which was much more doable on my 269 DK than on the lawn, but I've never experienced that in Blood Wolves. Do I think that was strictly because the video came out and now more people know about it? And eh, maybe, more so maybe other people talking about it uh, to other people so that they're kind of coming in. There's always the people running through doing dailies and that sort of thing, uh, but there's definitely a little more action, likely just some amount of coincidence. But aside from just it being uh, slightly more popular, some of the items from here have plummeted in price and there's a whole bunch of them already so these last week you can see here i was very easily able to sell these at two mil you, these items you pretty consistently also will see a drop over the weekend um, they'll drop in price during the weekends and then they pick back up and go from there that did not happen uh this week they this is where i, I was selling them uh, i think the cheapest i listed them last week while i was working on the the grind for the video uh was 1930 i was some 1.93 was where I was selling them uh, at the cheapest. And in most cases, I was getting right at about two mil for those. Those obviously have come down as they drop somewhat frequently, especially if you're using loot scrolls at Blood Wolves. They definitely, definitely crashed. And the other thing that uh, has happened is whom prices didn't quite stay where I would have liked for them to stay or at least recover. They typically have a bit of a dip every weekend as well as there's more people playing, people are doing dailies um, and what have you. So they typically go down, but you during the weekdays, you should be able to sell your homes at around 80 mil without any issue. And that is not quite the case now, although I know somebody was buying some of them earlier. You can see we have quite a few humes 
available uh, on a Tuesday. This I haven't seen this in a while. Uh, you can see there was a dramatic price crash and then picked up just a little bit. Uh, and usually we get these little dips throughout the weekend as they're adjusting. And here we're not really getting the recovery we would see. 80 mil is just not happening uh, from where we were selling them. So my bad, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, it could just be a combination of people trying to do other things in Dregan. Or the other likely thing is since Mansions has kind of become the new Gahas uh, with people farming Kafiris, it could just be that you're having people that aren't uh, able to hold spots down or keep a server at Mansions might be coming into the Dregan areas, Shere Khan or Blood Wolves, to try and pick up at least a decent Kafiris drop rate um, because it does have the same, but you don't get the Voodoo Dolls like you do elsewhere uh, in Kama Sylvia. The trick here, although I might regret saying this, that what you want to do then is sell your Han, get uh, your Hooms into turned in, turn them into Han Hooms to get them to actually sell. So you can see there's not that many listed here, and the price difference is is completely astronomical. Um, so you have 65, let's say, on the regular Hooms, and these at a hundred. Let's just put, say 100 mil. You can just pick up like a Wan Viper is usually 11 mil or so. Yeah, here you go, Wan Viper for 11 mil and then you need three garmoth scale which if you grind and dragon and got the whom anyways you're gonna have tons of garmoth skill because they don't sell anyhow and you just take three garmoth skill you need any one bond or gin crystal i typically use one viper because i have a stockpile thanks to failing gin viper a plethora of times uh, but you take these and three of the garmoth scales combine with the whoms and just doing that you're spending yeah let's say you spend what what is the actual price i want is putting it 11.9 let's say you spend 12 whatever 12.8 mil doesn't actually matter is that one listed there there's an order let's say you spend 12 ish mil on top of it and you um your home being worth 65 so you're into your home for 72 um you sell it for 100 and then after taxes you're going to come out to uh, 85 with a value pack so you come out ahead uh actually gaining a little bit of money by using that and sometimes not the history ones sometimes you can get uh other wan or bonds that aren't viper maybe you can get them for a little cheaper than that right around 11 nonetheless so that's kind of the trick for selling those in all honesty you could actually if you wanted to make a little bit of uh, extra money you could even just buy this at 64 buy yourself a viper slam them together right now and relist it as a han whom uh, and then you'd get uh, you'd get a little more money just without even getting the hun with the whom drop itself. So I might regret having giving out that tip, but I, I'm kind of joking in general. I don't think that these things are actually directly affecting the market that much in the first place. But we'll see. And maybe tomorrow, if all of a sudden I see all these whom turned into hun whoms, and there's a whole bunch more than just six or seven listed, we'll, we'll know what happened. So I'm back on the grind. We got patch notes coming out tomorrow. Uh, word on the street is we might have the koi fish event coming back. If you're unfamiliar with that and it does get released tomorrow, check out to, uh, check out tomorrow's patch notes and I'll cover that uh, a bit. We do know that we have it said Rulipi adventure log is being increased uh, in the maintenance release notes, um, not Bartali, but uh, there's been a lot of people talking about the new Bartali event that's coming out. Um, and having some extra chapters added to that, which do include some AP and DP gains as well, which are pretty exciting. So look forward to that. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like it. Uh, be sure to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications when we do cover those videos for those things we are talking about. Uh, patch notes recap coming out tomorrow and then a couple other things scheduled for later this week. And if you want to catch us live every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern time and Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern, we do live stream on the old Twitch. So if you want to check that out, there's a link to my Twitch page in the description below. You can click on that and just drop a follow and it'll give you a notification in the Twitch app on your phone or whatever uh, when we go live so to catch that. This week we are going to be doing, we're, we do enhancing for sure on Saturday and sometimes on Sunday as well. Uh, Saturday we're going to be continuing our Tet Bazzi um, extravaganza that we've been on. We are on six Tet Bazzi failed attempts so far with a, a little over, uh, a little under two bill invested into that so far. So we're going to run it again. Um, I'll have plenty of belts ready to go for that. Uh, should be a lot of fun. And we'll also simultaneously be going for uh, Pen Zarka. Although I think I'm, I have uh, my backup DK Zarka is at try, and my Lawn Zarka is also at try. I might just pick up an Often Tet as well, because we're going to need to build some stacks for. Um, for uh, the accessories since I don't have any. And I did also, since my lawn has a Tet Dragon Slayer that was an accident because I had it for um, just building fail stacks, I actually just made another Dragon Slayer weapon that I want to use for fail stacks. So we may use that to help build stacks and then I'll likely just sell the Tet one that I already have to pick up even more money. Um, from there and then whatever you know i don't really care what this thing gets up to it's an alt anyways and really i just want to build nice fail stacks with it so if you want to come check that out make sure you catch me on the twitch page we will be over there anyways that is going to be it for this video everybody thank you for watching and i will see you next time hey.